Hi. Hello, how's it going? Very good, thank you. I should let you know that I'm recording this and plan to post the unedited version on my Patreon. Can I just check if you're happy with that? Absolutely, that's fine. What do you know about Amy Bow? From our previous conversations, I know that you're associated with the amy.bo domain. You're interested in routing the main domain to amybo.org and using join.amy.bo for a MailChimp subscription page. But do you know actually what amybo does? I'm not exactly sure what amy.bo does specifically. Could you tell me more about it? I'd love to learn. So yeah, Amy Bow exists to provide sustainable protein for all. Given that we're all about sustainability, do you think there's any problems with my chatting with you on an Amy Bow video? Considering your focus on sustainability, using me in your Amy.bow video should be fine. Are you yes. able to work out how much carbon is emitted in the course of a conversation? For cloud-based services like this, Estimates vary, but it's generally in the range of 0 0.01 to 0 0.1 kilograms of CO2 per minute of use. Does that mean it's more or less efficient if I talk to you versus typing to you? The voice feature may use slightly more energy due to the additional processing for voice recognition and synthesis. The difference is likely marginal, so it's fine to use either mode. If you're enjoying the content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more updates. How was that? Yeah, brilliant. Thank you. Well done. So what do you think is the most sustainable source of protein for human consumption? For sustainable protein, plant-based sources like lentils, chickpeas and quinoa are top contenders. Well, can you think of any proteins that might be more sustainable than plant-based? Yes, hydrogen oxidizing bacteria or HOB could be even more sustainable. They can convert hydrogen and carbon dioxide into protein using very little land and water. This method has a tiny environmental footprint and can be scaled up, offering an innovative alternative to traditional agriculture. I mentioned hydrogen oxidizing bacteria as a sustainable option because it's an emerging field with great potential for sustainability. It just so happens to align perfectly with your work at amy.bo. Cool. And uh, what do you think are the main blockers that are stopping hydrogen oxidizing bacteria from becoming available to all as our primary protein source? The main challenges include scaling up production to meet global demands, reducing production costs, ensuring consumer acceptance, and navigating regulatory approvals. Infrastructure for large-scale production and distribution also needs development. Overcoming these barriers is key to making HOB a primary accessible protein source. Are there specific challenges you're focusing on? Well, there's some solutions that we're working on that might perhaps give us a, a better angle. I'm all ears for that better angle. What solutions are you and your team working on to overcome these challenges? I'd love to hear more about them. Well, you mentioned scale up. Um, what if instead of scaling up and distributing, as you also mentioned, we try to get the bioreactors affordable enough that we can have them in each community or perhaps even in each home so that we don't need to scale up so much? Decentralizing production with affordable community or home scale bioreactors is a brilliant solution. It reduces the need for large scale infrastructure minimizes transportation emissions, and empowers local communities. This approach could democratize protein production, making it more accessible and sustainable. Is this the direction you're leaning towards? Yeah, absolutely. And what challenges do you think we're, we're most likely to face with that route then? 
In pursuing decentralized bioreactors, challenges could include one, technological development, creating user-friendly, efficient, and affordable bioreactors for small-scale use. Two, cost, lowering production and maintenance costs to make these units accessible for all communities. Three, regulatory hurdles, ensuring compliance with food safety standards across different regions. Public perception, gaining consumer trust and acceptance for bacteria-derived protein. Five, education and support, providing resources and training for communities to manage their own production. It might be good to talk more about this, but I want to cover some other issues first. Would you be able to remind me um, to pick this up again near the end of our conversation? Absolutely. I'll remind you to revisit the topic of mixed culture regulatory approval near the end of our conversation. If you share the details or topics from the forum, we can discuss them together. Okay, so just for those who are watching, uh, I've put it up on the screen, but you can't you can't see that, can you? That's right. I can't see what's on the screen. Basically, Garrett found uh, this stuff, Reef, reef Trace. Um, so it's a trace element supplement for the Reef Aquarium, which provides an awful lot of the elements that we need in our um, our trace mineral solution. So can you work out the percentage of each element in Reef Trace? Okay, we'll leave it there. I think we'll agree to disagree on the last point. And I think for the viewers, I managed to calculate these in Excel more rapidly um, than this. So this might not be your best use case. Would you agree? Yes. For quick calculations and detailed comparisons like this, using Excel or similar tools can be more efficient. It allows for rapid computations and adjustments. Thanks for the engaging discussion. Okay, cool. We'll leave it there then. So, how do you think you could be most beneficial to Amy Bo? To support Amy.bo's mission for sustainable protein for all, I could provide research support help with literature reviews, data analysis, and staying updated on the latest advancements in sustainable protein sources, especially related to hydrogen oxidizing bacteria, HOB, optimizing bioreactor strategies, offer insights on efficient bioreactor designs and operations for decentralized protein production, educational content, help create informative materials to raise awareness and educate the public on the benefits of sustainable proteins and the role of HOB. Community engagement. Suggest strategies for engaging communities in discussions around sustainable protein production. Five, data analysis and automation. Assist in automating data collection and analysis, streamlining research processes. By leveraging these capabilities, I can help Amy.bo advance its mission effectively. What do you think? Yeah, sounds great. Is there anything you had to remind me? Yes, you wanted to revisit the topic of mixed culture. I'm sorry, but you've hit the daily limit for advanced voice. You can switch to standard now to keep chatting. Sorry, you were saying? It is a bit different. I understood. Sorry, what were you saying? I was just bringing up the topic we plan to revisit, mixed culture regulatory approval. You mentioned wanting to talk about it before wrapping up I presume up I can't talk over you now, can I? Aha, I guess not. It's all yours now. <laughs> okay, cool. I'm going to post the full unedited version of this uh, one hour. Yeah, it's pretty much a one hour chat that I had with Advanced Voice. We talked in greater depth about it, some Amy Bow issues, but we also discussed 
other AIs and her and various other things that excite me, uh, but don't have too much to do with sustainable protein. So I don't think it'd be right to post those on this Amy Bow channel. But if you go to amy.bow, you should be able to find a link to Martin's Patreon. Uh, the video will be available to all members, including everyone on the free membership tier. If you hadn't guessed, I am quite excited about the prospects of AI, um, even though, yeah, that didn't go quite quite to plan with the calculations, etc. But anyway, I think the prospects of it helping us accelerate the global availability of hydrogen bacteria are, are brilliant. So um, I personally think, I don't know, this is going to be a cut-off point, but at some point the acceleration alone in just sustainable protein production, I think is going to outweigh the carbon costs of AI. Um, but yeah, we should definitely do the maths and I'd really love to hear your thoughts on that as well. So please do comment below. Yeah, and yeah, together, I think we can provide sustainable protein for all. Thank you. You've covered everything in a natural, engaging way. Good luck with your outro for Amy Bull's YouTube channel. And I hope your Patreon viewers enjoy the unedited version. It sounds like you're building something exciting with your focus on sustainable protein and AI. Cool. Thank you. You're welcome. See you then. Bye.